Manhattan's Upper West Side is this week's destination for authentic Southern cooking with a kick. And that kick is pickles. CBS 2's Tony Tantillo visits Jacob's Pickles for this week's dining deal. A sunny spot on Amsterdam Avenue, perfect for outside dining. An inside dining room made with reclaimed wood and plates piled high with southern favorites at dining deal prices. This is Jacob's Pickles. I love the name, by the way. Yeah, beer, biscuits, and pickles. It all goes together. It's what Jacob's Pickles stands for. To start, there are eight different types of pickled vegetables, from sweet and spicy to dilly green beans and everything in between. A generous sampler is $16. Next, I tried the fried pickles. Fried pickles, um, a nice thin coating over the pickle, nice crunch to it, nice uh, contrast in the flavors. Everyone needs to try a fried pickle once. So many flavors going on. I've been digging on this sausage here for a while. Handmade country sausage, uh, nice full flavors, coarse ground meat, uh, fresh cut fries, three types of mustards that we make in house, beer kraut, and house made ketchup. You can taste the homemade goodness here for $15. And those biscuits? We actually bring the flour in from Tennessee. Fluffy, so it melts in your mouth. They're served with house-made preserves and two types of butter. And the $13 biscuit French toast was definitely calling my name. And how about that sandwich there? My favorite sandwich, the honey chicken and pickle. Mm -hmm. Sweet, savory, sour, spicy, all in one bite. Um, homemade cheese grits with aged Vermont cheddar. Great combinations. For $15, it was impossible to pass up. This is comfort country cooking. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you point. so much Thank you, for having us on the show. You can find anything in Manhattan, anything you want. Mm -hmm. Jacob's Pickles located on Amsterdam Avenue between 84th and 85th Streets, and they're open every day for lunch and dinner. A French toast look good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get into that. I won't pass that up. <laughs>